Deputy Custom. This is Gino Lenati here, aka Lino Gennati. I brought the M8 Fat Bob out to the Rebel Jet booth, traveling with Bustin' Up the Sun Tour around here at Sturgis this year. This is the 2018 M8 Fat Bob Soft Hill. It's got the 107 M8 motor in it with the fueling 465 cam. It's got Legends front and rear on it. It's got the SMT wheel conversion, the 19 on the front, the 18 on the back. It's got the big old Memphis shade fairing, the headlight relocation, nice juicy settlement seat. ready to go for the stunt shows and everything that I need to do. Tony, Tony's been doing Bust and Uncle Stunt Tour for at least 25 years. I'm only 24. I'm lucky enough to be able to ride with him for two years after being able to stunt in Harleys for four years. So to be able to ride with Bust and Uncle, to be riding with King Tony is such an honor. I'm so blessed and thankful for that. And getting this experience to be able to ride and stunt and travel the world to get paid to do stunt shows is absolutely insane. So. We're pretty much booked up 10 months out of the year, traveling to all the 48 states, doing stunt shows every weekend back to back to back. So we did six months already, and now we're at Sturgis, and then we leave Sturgis to go all back to back to back all over again. So it's just almost nonstop riding, having a good time. Hey guys, King Tony here with Bust Knuckle Stunt Tour in Rebels Den Cycle Supply, hanging out with Deadbeat Customs. Want to show you my FXR, just finished. All right, this is my 1999 FXR2. Uh, my goal of building this bike was to keep something very clean, classy, simple. I didn't want a fairing. I didn't want a bunch of stuff on it. Russ Warnemont fenders, uh, Trask exhaust, SMT wheels, my machinist risers, just some of the goodies, custom dynamics. Uh, it's a pretty rad bike. It came together good. Um, chain drive, uh, Pro One black tubes and trees. She's a ripper. Next up, I want to tell you guys a little bit about my 2022 Road Glide ST. I got this thing about a week before Daytona of this year, and uh, I knew I wanted to build something that was rad, fast, and I could just hit the button and hit the road. So I did the rear suspension, Legend. I did the handlebars, uh, My Machinist risers, ODI bars, just basic, really clean setup. So I rode down to Daytona. HPI took care of me, Thundermax took care of me, and Hoffman Designs took care of me. Hoffman did the front fender and the dash. HPI, of course, did the exhaust system, and Thundermax did the standalone ECU. With that being said, I added uh, Rubafini brakes, front and rear, Tras swing arm, SBC uh, bag guards, Saddleman seats, always Saddleman seats. And I got Pro One boards, for, uh, Pro One short throw, shifter, and brake arms. It's a new product from them. Been testing it out, works really good. Nest lower fork legs, uh, Legend front cartridges, and then all custom dynamics lighting along with Memphis shades, windshield, and hand guards. Uh, aside from that, man, it's just a rad bike. Check it out, let me know what you think.